Hey everyone, 365 Ninja here. I've got a quick and basic tip for you in Excel 2013. So I've got a spreadsheet here with some data in it, but the tip that I'm going to show you I think works best when you don't have a ton of data in your spreadsheet yet, and you're just working on some formatting. But since I do have data, I'll show you how merging and unmerging or splitting cells works when you already have data in your sheet. So let's say that I have a collection of cells that I want to merge together into one cell. With these four cells highlighted, I just look for the Merge and Center section in my Home tab. Now if you just click this, Merge and Center, I'm merging these four cells into one. And you see here in the pop-up window a really important point about this. Merging cells only keeps the upper left cell value and discards the other values. So if I click OK, keep an eye on the data that's in the cells right now. I'm left only with east because that was the upper left cell value. Now I don't necessarily want to keep that, so what I can do is unmerge my cells, go back to that same button, click the drop down, and click unmerge cells. Now the data that I did have is lost, so I'm just going to click Control Z a couple times to undo what I did. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, merging and splitting cells is something that probably works best when you don't have a lot of data in the cells that you're merging. For example, let's say that I have sorted my spreadsheet into regions. Now, let's say that I want to use this central label for my leftmost column basically distributed across all of these central cells. So what I can do is highlight everything, click merge, and now you can see the value of merging cells when I don't have multiple cells worth of data to merge. Hope that tip helped. Please check back with 365ninja.com for more tips and tricks. Thanks.